Hello and welcome to my channel, Well and Wonders Tarot. This is a reading for Cancer. Cancerians, this is your About Last Night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using my Romance Angels Oracle cards, my Light Seers Tarot deck, along with my Modern Witch Tarot deck. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. So let's get started, Cancerian. All right. So Cancer, this represents you, this represents your person, and in the middle is the overall energy, is the message for you. So your message is make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right, so that's your message, and that's the overall energy here. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with you. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands, and you also have the Five of Pentacles. And finally, you have the Ten of Wands. So I feel with you, when it comes to your person, you know, this is a fairly brand new situation. I feel with this eight, Ace of Wands, excuse me, with this Ace of Wands. So sorry, I meant to say the Ace of Pentacles. It's new um, and it moved quick with the Eight of Wands. So it's a brand new connection and things move quickly for you. So, you know how that is. You met this person and you probably went out on a couple of dates. You were or are super attracted to this person and things kind of, you know, move quickly for you when it comes to romance with this Eight of Wands. Move very quickly, probably a very sexual connection. But you are also in this energy of the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you feel like your person is not giving you the attention that you need with this Five of Pentacles. You're feeling a little bit betrayed and abandoned by your person. Um, I feel like with this Ten of Wands, you're putting in a lot of effort and your person is not. And you're wondering whether you need to continue on. Again, I think, again, make the effort. So I do feel like you are putting in a lot of effort toward this connection but it's not being recipro reciprocated. The bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups. All right, so again, the Four of Cups represents, you know, someone making an offer and this person here feels like that offer is just not good enough. So this person could represent your person, you know, and this hand, you know, coming out of, out of the clouds, I feel represents you, Cancer. Um, your person is just, you know, feeling like you're not good enough. Um, so let's talk about your person. Your person's showing up um, with the Five of Swords. Your person has the Death card. Your person also has the King of Cups. And finally, your person has the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm gonna start down here with this King of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely your person. This is your person, the King of Cups. I feel like your King of Cups is very popular and has a lot of suitors. I feel like your King of Cups is you know, uh, very attractive. So your person is definitely the king of cups and your person is single, okay? With this nine of pentacles. This is a very single, attractive person that you're dealing with, okay? Single and attractive, uh, probably has a good job, probably is able to, you know, treat um, their dates well. Nice restaurants, gifts, things like that. Cars, probably has their own home, something like that. So your person is very attractive and single and has all the characteristics that people like, you know, and want in a relationship. I'm getting more like Don Juan energy with your person. And then, you know, with the Five of Swords, your person um, probably has lots of people after them, lots of suitors, okay? Your, your person dates around a lot and I feel like your person leaves a string of broken hearts behind them. Okay, with this five of swords, you see these people in the background. One person is way in the back crying. This other one's walking away feeling defeated. So I feel like your person dates around a lot and um, has that energy and of, you know, with this with the king of cups, this person makes you feel beautiful, makes you feel special while you're around them, but they have no um, intention on committing 
Now let's talk about the death card again. I feel like your person leaves a string of broken hearts behind them with the death endings, endings. I think the relationships always end. Again, there's more people in the background of this card laid out crying and begging, you know, begging, you know, please don't end this. So I feel like that's just the characteristic of your person. Your person just is, you know, attractive. You have a good time when you're around this person, but this person has no intentions on committing. And I think we see that again with this Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I believe the message for you, make the effort. It, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like the message is to stop fighting for this connection and let it go because your person, you know, represents this death card, has no intentions on, you know, letting something live on. And I feel like you need to let go and give love an opportunity to enter into your life, a legitimate love. Um, so that's what I'm getting, Cancer. Those, that's what I see. So good luck with your situation. And thank you for stopping by and watching my channel and have a wonderful day.